Sega. Strategy has an important role in every single race. After all, the fastest car doesn't always win. Sometimes it's science, sometimes it's just plain luck. But the basic principles remain the same. Fuel usage and tyre wear. How many pit stops you need to make for tyres or how much you have to lift and coast to manage the fuel are really important. But then you throw in things like safety car, mixed weather conditions, as well as the chances of overtaking on track and you get a whole number of variables. Practice is all about gaining knowledge. Use the time wisely. You've got plenty of it for the drivers, the teams, and the engineers to learn everything they need ahead of qualifying and the race. Be bold, be experimental, and use the time wisely, and use both of your cars wisely to try different setups so you arrive at qualifying in the best shape possible. Qualifying is a straight shootout with the drivers needing to do the fastest possible lap time to start high up on the grid for the race. Strategy is key here. By now, you should know which tyres work and also how many laps the drivers need to get the tyres up to temperature. Timing is also important. Send them out too early and the track isn't in its best condition in terms of rubber. Send them out too late and they could get caught out in traffic. So you got to get that right. You have to keep an eye on the weather. If it's dry at the start, but it looks like it's going to rain, make sure you send your guys out early so they get a banker on the board. Conversely, if it's wet at the start, you've got to make sure you're there at the end to get the last lap on the board. Once the race starts, have a look at where your drivers are. You can perhaps use a strategy to do something different from the guys around you and gain position during the race. Use the fresher tyres, the strategy and the different fuel modes to overtake people around you and gain track position at key parts of the race. A little tip from me, if you're at a track where it's more difficult to overtake, you want to do less pit stops. As usual, keep one eye on the weather, but also the risk of a safety car that could completely mix things up. Finally, remember you might not always have the winning team, so it's important to optimize the best result you can given your circumstances. 